Hey, how are you doing guys? Today I'm going to be discussing the most reliable supercharger that you can get for your Mustang GT. Now, when it comes to talking about superchargers and once you think about supercharging your car, there's many different ways that you can go. You can obviously go centrifugal, TVS style, you know, there, there's a whole bunch of ways to boost your Mustang pretty much. However, the most reliable supercharger that I would recommend is the Roush supercharger. And here are my reasonings why. One, Roush comes with, I believe, a 75,000 mile to three year warranty if it's installed by a Ford technician or if taken to a proper installation shop. So not only do you get a warranty with this supercharger, but I believe it's one of the best superchargers that you can get for your money, you know? Basically, with this supercharger being a TVS style supercharger, the good thing about this supercharger is that it is directly on top of the actual engine. Now what this means is that the intercooler is right beneath the actual supercharger. I know lots of them now have the intercooler on top, but for this one, it's on the bottom and it's directly headed into the intake manifold and basically just going directly straight to the engine and because it is a TVS style supercharger it is belt driven meaning it's driven by the crankshaft meaning that you get instantaneous boost so you won't feel any lag compared to maybe a centrifugal style supercharger especially if you get into the bigger ones you tend to feel a little bit more lag however with this style supercharger once you accelerate since it's a TVS style it's directly the boost hits you direct now when it comes for the best bang for the buck when it comes to getting a supercharger it is definitely the Roush now with the Roush obviously you have the warranty you do get a significant bump in horsepower this particular supercharger is a Roush phase one supercharger you can see by the bigger pulley right here and you obviously have the closed closed box air intake style now basically what kind of horsepower can you expect with this supercharger? You are getting around 575 crank horsepower. Those are the numbers that Roush advertises at. You do get pretty much the whole setup. You do have the intercooler down here. So like I said, all the air going into there, into the supercharger, goes directly down into the intercooler, cooling down your air. You know, obviously cooler, denser air means for more power and it goes directly into the engine cylinders. Now, if you're looking for a supercharger that you're just trying to daily drive, this is definitely a supercharger that I would recommend. You can obviously go with bigger horsepower name brands. However, the thing is with the Roush, I believe it is more a of a street driven, you know, type of supercharger. Now, what I mean by that is this is a supercharger that if you want, you can just drive daily it's not consuming a lot of gas, you know. Obviously, when it comes to supercharging your car, you're not expecting the best gas mileage. That's, everyone knows that, but the thing is, with this supercharger, is you'll get decent gas mileage for a supercharger, but you, you don't feel any significant difference in reality. So by now, you're probably asking yourself, how do I know that this is a reliable supercharger? Now. I've so far had this car for over one year and I've never had any problems with the supercharger at all. I haven't had to fix anything. If you guys didn't know, this car already came supercharged. I got it from a dealership at Ford and pretty much from my understanding, this supercharger has been on this car for years, like over five years, I would say. So this supercharger is definitely not something that was just installed and just said that it's a good supercharger no this supercharger has definitely held its time and has showed the previous owner and me that it is definitely one of the best reliable superchargers that you can get if you plan on daily driving your car obviously if you're going to the track you know just on the weekends obviously you can upgrade to twin turbos a vmp style supercharger you know aim for that thousand horsepower but if you're just looking for a bump in horsepower the roush is definitely the way to go in my humble opinion you can't go wrong with it it gives you extra horsepower right now this is the phase one kit 
if you're looking for bigger horsepower you obviously could do other bolt-ons like the uh, headers you can put e85 and on top of that if you get the phase 3 supercharger now you're at 675 so you can obviously see how the Roush you know it isn't a slow supercharger by any means it definitely gives you a bump in power but if you're planning on daily driving this car or just driving it more than just the weekends then obviously the Roush is the way to go alright that's pretty much it for me I just wanted to give my quick opinions on the Roush supercharger it is definitely a wonderful supercharger if you plan on getting it you definitely can't go wrong with it but that's pretty much it for me it is Drew and I am out Thank you.